Hey guys, welcome back. Well, at least this week we can do a little woodworking. That's a good thing. Well, right now what we're doing is uh, experiment. <laughs> I've got these two round tables. One is four foot, one is five foot. And I got to do an apron on them. Now, typically, the way I've always done it was built, you know, two patterns, and then put blocks around it to have something to bend around to laminate. One time I did try steaming it. That didn't work too well. Man, you talk about a mess. Trying to, trying to bend something that's almost five foot. Doesn't work. But even then to build a form to bend it around and you got all this plywood and then all this blocking and all this stuff and it's kind of a pain. So I got to thinking about this. What if, and you know I play that game a lot. So here's what I come up with and we're going to find out if it works. Here's my idea. Now, I've done corner blocks like this to mount, you know, a round apron. So I got to thinking, what if I took corner blocks and went around my radius and then bent a piece of plywood around it to form the form and then take my laminate, which will be uh, eighth inch poplar, and then these are tiger maples, so then the last last one will be obviously tiger maple. So here's what we come up with. Again, I've just got the corner blocks, make sure everything is straight and square. This, this countersunk is always done. Excuse me. Run out of parts. Now, before I go too far, here's what I did. Made me a custom compass. Here it is. Now, the apron's got to set back. But in order to do this, when you do this, whatever the thickness your apron's going to be, plus the thickness of your plywood, which will be your base core. You got to compensate for that. You, know, you understand? So if you're going to do a 5 8 apron, then you got to go what? 5 8 plus 3 16 Not a quarter. I'll show you why in a little bit. So what we're going to do is the biggest deal I've got is how many blocks it's going to take to put this thing together and see if it works. Oh, I was talking about the compass, I'm sorry. Anyway, so this outer, I just drilled a hole that a pencil fit in. That creates my top, and then measured in my overhang plus the thickness of what my apron's gonna be. In this case, my apron's gonna be 5 8 So when I glue it up, there will be four eighth-inch poplar pieces and then an eighth-inch tiger maple on the outside of that. 
بشده But one thing about it, all this is going to become sacrificial. Meaning, once I'm done bending, this law will come off. And I will bend it on a piece of plywood just like this. Just so I don't have all them holes. I know it's the bottom, but hey. Now the question on this is going to become how far apart I got to be. My space in here is about eight inches. I'm not measuring, I'm guessing. Hmm. That didn't work. Like I said, I have not done this before, but it seems logical. Jeff said it sounded like a good idea. So we'll see. Write a book on tips and tricks. I don't know if I got that many. You're about the fifth person to suggested that. I think I am pretty good at thinking outside the box. What's that old cliche about necessity being a mother of invention? Okay. So, we tried a little bit of quarter inch plywood 
just as we cut it. But on this radius, well, then again, we all know about the modern day plywood, it just snapped. And Jeff said, I don't think this is going to work. I said, Hold on. I know a trick. So I go to the planer and I planed one surface of the maple off. What'd you call it, a noodle? A noodle? <laughs> if you take one surface off of it, you can bend a pretty tight radius. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You never seen Pulled that? It out. Yeah, it's like a piece of spaghetti. Hey, it worked. So, you know, I'm thinking rather than resaw a bunch of poplar, I mean, this apron is purely decoration, it's not doing anything. Now, this one. I planed it, can we see this? When I planed this one, I got a little too low. And I'm down to about an eighth. So I cut another piece and I planed it. But I didn't go near as far, you can see. Just barely take the maple off. Now that's why these inside ones will be sacrificial. This one. Now then, what I'll do is take some uh, um, packing tape or something like that and cover this so the glue, and of course I'll cover this surface with some tape as well. Then all I gotta do is start. And just as I did, I can put some glue on here Take a roller, roll it out good. You don't want globby because you don't want to have to put a lot of pressure. And if I need to, I can put a little, you know, it's a little clamp. Walk it around and What you think, Mr. Fleischer? I think it'll work. Like that? It's gonna work. Yeah. Now I will tell you something else I've done, but they didn't have nothing this size. Is if you go to Van Dyke Restores, V A N D Y K E. Look, if you're looking for something weird, odd, they got it. And they actually have steam bent aprons. Now they're made out of oak. And if I could find one of them the size I need, I'd buy it. <clears throat> now again, I can't imagine how they steam bend these things, but oh there. But they're great. And I would laminate the outside with whatever I needed. And I would also do the inside just with something. Remember, <coughs> anytime you're doing a laminate, you want odd numbers. 
just like plywood. Man, that's going to look really nice. Then, what I can do is unscrew it. Whoop, I didn't have a staple on that one. That's not a fair contest. Nip off my little pin nails and we're good to go. So how again Hold on. how are you gonna know what lane so that you can come up and butt and you have a nice clean What Jeff's asking is well once we get all of our supports on and we get the base on we can measure it. Well, here's the other thing. When you're doing this, <coughs> now see like right here, what I would do is I'd put another support. And the reason for that is then I can pin pack this, and I don't want to overlap. No, no, I'm and I would butt to it, but then the next piece I would, you know, straddle it. You understand? I mean, just like kind of like laying a floor. You know, you never want to keep your joints going the same, you know. You want to stagger. And you got an apron. I like that. I think that'll be good. I mean, in as much as cutting these top, uh, this five foot. Right there is the corner, and over here is the other corner. Yeah. And this way I don't have to, to make them patterns. I don't have to glue up plywood to get five foot and all that stuff. Because then as much as cutting the tabletop, which we'll film, we're just going to use a plunge router and a little jig and, you know, we'll use an upcut spiral bit because we'll be indexing from the bottom. And we want a nice clean edge. So up cut is going to give us a clean edge on the bottom, which will be our top. Right? Are you impressed? <laughs> Put it in your book. Put it in my book. It was kind of cute when I put that piece of plywood through the planer. And that thing's coming out the other side, and that thing's just folding Jeff's like, do what? Now Jeff's kind of gotten into model trains and building all this stuff, and I mean, he's into it. What, his grandson or whatever? Well, now you can make your mountains and your hills and your valleys. Stone walls now. Stone walls now. See if you can get close enough to show them. Now, how are you doing that? So let's say uh, you can you can buy the uh, like a retaining wall or a portal for a uh, a tunnel, and this is, this one happens to be a random stone pattern. But then you go in and you can <coughs> you take your dies just like in wood yeah. or and uh, with a sponge little uh, piece of sponge like a uh, use for a like grout. You know, you really need to tab film it, this. Tab it on there. And then you go back and with a with a brush and a little couple of different color paints and paint each one of those bricks. And then you can go back. I mean, I've seen it. what you've been doing, yeah. but you really need to film that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, that's, I mean, <laughs> you've been working on this thing a long time. Yeah, yeah. So it's coming, coming together, yeah. You know, uh, Sherry was always wanting to get into the miniature stuff. Yeah. But those building those little structures, I should bring a couple in and show. show yeah, that'd them. be neat. But uh, it's, a lot of fun. it's a lot of fun. I mean, you're down here, you're cross-sided, and you're trying to... <laughs> no, so I don't think... The building <laughs> is, 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 is good. I mean, it's fun to build it, but, it, but the painting and the weathering and making them look real is the fun part. And, uh, yeah. 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 
Okay. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, and I'll be filming this week, um, cutting the tables, doing the final on the aprons, and let you see how that goes. And we'll be on pedestals. Man, we've been gluing and gluing and gluing and gluing. You know these pedestals that go under here, geez, there's, there's, I think there's actually more wood going into these than it went into the tables. I mean, this is just some cherry from Bob Ploth. And I had some. That's just the cherry. And there's two cherry tables. And that's all curly cherry. Plain it. You know the routine. Plain it, join it, chop it, straight line it, and glue, 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 glue. I mean, man, we're going through glue like this. Hmm. You know, I just thought of something. Them pedestals. Doing all that curfing. I could put some supports across them. You understand? You know, because they're only this wide. Put supports across them. Do this. And just start laminate them in there. I mean, again, I've done, I won't say a ton of round aprons, but I've done my share. But man, with this technique, man, you could do figure eights, you could do it, you know. I mean, if, you're do, if you want an apron under one of those free form tables or something, you could form it any way you wanted it. That works. That works really well. Okay, guys, I'll catch you next week. Uh, update on me. Ooh. I'm feeling a lot better. Still a week, get fatigued faster than I'd like. But I'm getting there. The more I work and the harder I go, the better it is. I just can't believe the amount of strength you lose. But I'm not on any more meds, and uh, I think they're finally convinced that the pneumonia and the sepsis is gone. They got a little upset with me because I'm like, you know, how many no's does it take? Well, we'd like to check this. Check. You done checked it three times. No. See you later. I got work to do. So we're at it. But man, what a bear. Of course, then again, the, the meds, what's today, Thursday? The meds really started wearing off about Tuesday. Again, the cure was worse than the problem. Wow. Okay, guys, um, again, I'll catch you next week, and we'll keep going doing woodwork. Thanks for hanging around.